Hello and what is up my friends, it's Thunder Bob here, and tonight we're going to be continuing my playthrough of Diablo 4 on my Season 1 Necromancer. And uh, this character is just amazing. Um, this is the strongest I've felt playing any character in the game so far. It just slays. I In this video I'm going to show you taking on the second capstone dungeon, the Fallen Temple. This is level 70 content. I am fighting enemies 14 levels above me. You can see I'm in world tier 4 here because I've actually, I've already completed it. I'm recording this part after the fact. And I do the, the capstone dungeon pretty easily. Like, I die once, um, basically just because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, literally, I'm, I'm, I was just kind of doing this in the lark. I wanted to see if I could do it. I've been running Nightmare Dungeons about 10 levels ahead of me. I said, let's try out the capstone. I want to see if I could do it. I could have probably done this at 50 with how easy this was. But I did die... Uh, I'm, I've got, my daughter has a sleepover tonight, and literally I was like, get distracted, I had kids running around, I had no headphones on, literally had no audio at all playing this entire dungeon run, and I still managed to do it pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to show you the gear, the skills, the setup, and then we are going to uh, run through, it's going to be a no commentary run, obviously because I had kids over, you don't want to hear them yelling in the background, um, but Necromancer, just flat out amazing, I'm going to talk about the skills and why I think it's so good, we're going to look first at my build and this is a bone spear build basically i've got bone splinters and i may actually end up dropping my generator eventually just because um i've got the one down here which gives you essence whenever you um use a corpse and um or consume a corpse i should say and honestly if i just like spam corpse explosion i get more essence than i do spamming bone splinters and i actually do damage like bone splinters does so little damage all these do pretty low damage um, but we'll keep going here. Bone Spear. What I'm finding is that the Necromancer is basically just the Sorcerer, but better with with friends that you bring along. Like, almost every skill here just does more damage than the, the Sorcerer version. And I don't really understand, like, like the balance behind it. Like, it, it's... I don't know. And I know the Sorcerer is getting buffs, but even with those buffs, I don't know if they're going to be able to compete with some of these other classes. Uh, it's just incredible having, you know, got to 94 there and, like, going up in levels here and just seeing the difference in power behind some of them. But we got Bone Spear. I was using the one that adds vulnerability, but I've got the Aspect, which um, on your second hit always causes vulnerable. And with the bounce back, like, everything's always vulnerable with this build. Like, it's just that easy to cause vulnerability. Your main skill just does it. Uh, so I've got the one that makes it fire additional projectiles when it crits, and it's always critting. I've got uh, the extra essence, I've got the extra damage, lucky hit to generate a corpse, and I do have the Malignant Heart, which will randomly, uh, every second, cast one of my corpse skills. So this is really nice, I'm getting lots of corpses, and these just fire constantly, which generates mana. Like, once per second I'm getting, you know, six, uh, six energy from, from the skill down here, which is like, your, your, your default is like three per second. So you're going from 3 to basically 9, just from using that Malignant Heart. I've got Blood Mist, really my only defensive skill. Like, like to be comparably defensive on my source, I have to have 4 defensive skills. Here, just Blood Mist is my, like, get-out-of-jail-free card. Got that one to leave corpses behind, which is pretty nice. Um, corpse Explosion, I've got it up to level 9 here. And this is just firing, like, every second. It's really nice. And then when I go low on... On Essence, I'll just spam it, and I'll refill my bar, and I'll keep going with Bone Spears. Uh, I am not taking either of the Curses because I have the Malignant Heart, which will cast Decrepify automatically. I get an aura that causes Decrepify, so that's really nice. Uh, I do have the extra damage to distant enemies and the, the close damage and reduction there. Corpse Tendrils is another just amazing skill with this build. The Malignant Heart will just frequently auto-cast this, you'll see this in the video, and it does not reset the cooldown. So, like, it auto-casts, and then when that's done, I can immediately do my own Corpse Tendrils, and I can just stun the battlefield for, like, you know, what is this, uh, three seconds? So it's, like, six seconds straight of of the stunning and the extra damage and everything. I, I did not expect to like Corpse Tendrils as much as I do. Also, another source of vulnerability. Got the, uh, fortify whenever i use a corpse i think this got nerfed this used to be like point i think it was point nine per skill point and now it's point three and it, it gives you nothing i don't know if that's a bug or intended but this skill now is pretty terrible all the way down to evulsion i don't i'm not using any of the ultimates but if i end up dropping like i said if i end up dropping bone splinters i may uh, go with an ultimate 
but right now I, I'm not quite at the point where I could drop it. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. My sorcerer went the same way. Eventually, I had enough energy, uh, mana, you know, regeneration that I didn't even need a generator, and uh, I, I may go that route eventually here. But at the moment, I just have the one for um, when you're healthy at least four seconds, your minions get attack speed. Uh, I also I, I skipped over it here actually, um, but I have the extra damage for my skeleton warriors also. And then I've got the Ossified Essence, because I'm doing, you know, mostly bone skills are doing most of my damage. And I'm constantly casting these, you know, really high Essence levels because I'm getting mana back frequently. Um, so, yeah, that's the build. I don't have a lot of Paragon points. I'm only 56 at the moment. But I basically uh, took the two damage ones. I did come down here just for the extra armor. I probably will drop these um, when I get close enough to get Flesh Eater. Because the Millionaire Heart is just constantly consuming corpses, it's like once per second. If you do the math on that, if once per second it's automatically consuming a corpse, this is going to be a constant 40% damage increase. That's just always going to be on. So kind of my current thought is come up here, grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this, and come out this way. And then uh, I really don't know the Necro Paragon well enough, but I'm going to kind of play it by ear. But right now, it's just it's slaying. Uh, Book of the Dead, I am using the Reapers, which generate corpses, because, as you can see, I'm, I'm using a lot of corpses. Uh, I'm using the Cold Ones, which give me um, Essence back, just another source of Essence. I am not using a Golem, I just didn't really have a spot for it, but I've got the one that gives me Critical Strike damage. And as far as the gear goes, I found like three of these so far, I don't know why, but they're dropping like candy. It's really nice, it causes like a, an Echo... Like, these bubbles will follow my Bone Spear and do pretty decent damage. I don't know if it'll really hang when you get into the higher levels, but right now it does pretty decent damage. It also gives you that uh, physical damage, which is, you know, most of these skills do physical damage. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Two more Skeleton Warriors. This is really nice because I'm constantly consuming corpses, either the auto from the Malignant Heart... Or when, I've, when I'm low on Essence, I'll spam Corpse Explosion. And then the next time I do my Bone Spear, it gets a 50% damage increase. I've actually thought about putting this on my weapon, because then you'd get, what, 20% per uh, Corpse Consumed, all the way up to 100% damage. That's that's pretty crazy in my mind. And we've got the uh, Damaging Elite grants you a barrier, just some more protection. And then every 8 seconds, my... My Skeletal Mages will cast a Blizzard, which actually at this level, 1500 is nothing, nothing to ignore. That's like a decent amount of damage. Plus it chills. Like, I see this actually freeze enemies more often than I see the chill enchantment freeze enemies on my Sorcerer, which is kind of sad. Uh, I, I made this pretty decent. I like that Bone Spear. Uh, causes the vulnerability and then that 75% damage increase on the uh, Bone Spear, uh, Bone Shards from your Bone Spear. Uh, I need a better version of this. I don't know if I'll keep this on my weapon. I might swap that out, like I said, with this one. But uh, it's, a, it's a pretty decent bonus. This is a really nice one also. I thought about putting this on the weapon for the 30... Um, you know, for the higher critical chance increase. Um, and then also you get a, a bunch of critical strike damage to those enemies. And I'm constantly corpse tenderling. And I am using that Wrathful Million Heart that cycles through the attack speed the resource generation and the barrier, which is pretty nice. This uh, amulet kind of sucks, though. Like, I need a better amulet. Um, and eight, one of those... I, I, I This is one of the first thing I, I put a Wrathful Heart into, and I didn't realize how rare they were. So I do need another one of those. This is the one that automatically activates a corpse skill every so often. This is not a great one, but uh, it, it's doing crazy damage. I also have that critical strike with core skills, increase your attack speed. Which you'll see in the video, I am casting so fast at times. And I'm constantly getting critical strikes with my core skills. And um, I'm also using the one here to, to generate the Decrify Aura. And a lucky hit to generate Essence, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can get that from the Codex even. You don't have to uh, get that as a drop. So that's the gear. Uh, this is going to be a no commentary video. I'm not going to record over my gameplay. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, my setup. And just how I murder this uh, this end game content, and then I'll be moving on to World Tier Four, and maybe I'll do another video. I don't think I'm going to get to 90 with this character. I'm kind of getting a little burnt out on the grind. Maybe when they increase the density uh, in about a week from now, 
uh, I'll come back to both my source and my necro and get to 100. But right now, I'll probably get this character maybe to 75 or so. And then I'm going to continue on my druid, which I'm playing co-op with a buddy of mine. And then I might do the same and show you how they how they do at the capstone dungeons and at the end game. But, uh, we'll jump right into uh, the Fallen Temple World Tier uh, dungeon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Out of essence.
need more time. Out of essence.
required essence. on S. Come <laughs> on. 
out of essence. Ready yet. 